Hey guys, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles, and in this video, we're gonna look at how to record through Guitar Sam plugins in Harrison Mixbus 32C. So if you're anything like me, I record guitars and bass all the time in my studio, and I usually use my Headrush pedal board to do all my guitar and bass recording. But some of you don't have some kind of multi-effect processor, and you rely on Guitar Sam plugins. So I'm gonna show you how to get this set up in Harrison Mixbus 32C. So the first thing that we have to do is make sure we set our buffer size to a low enough setting so we don't hear a lot of latency while we record. So in order to do this, we need to go to Window, Audio MIDI Setup. And you can see I currently have it set to 256 samples. And the other thing that we need to make sure that we do is go into the Preferences and set our monitoring setting. So that way we monitor through Mixbus and not through our audio hardware. So we're gonna to go to Mix Bus and then Preferences and then Monitoring. And you can see that I currently have it set to Audio Hardware, but we wanna set ours to Mix Bus 32C. So now when I arm my track, we can actually hear something coming through Mix Bus. And 256 buffer size is actually not too bad because it's 5.8 milliseconds of time and to me, I'm not really feeling a huge difference right now. Let's just see what happens if we change it to 512. So I can definitely start feeling a little bit of the latency there as I'm playing. And let's go all the way down to 128. This is 2.9 milliseconds. Okay, great. So let's actually keep it at 128. And I want you to experiment with your own setup to make sure everything's running okay. Because this really all depends on your computer and your audio interface. So the plugin that I'm using is the Helix Native plugin. And this gives you all kinds of great amps and effects. So we're just going to stick with a nice clean tone for the first track. And then I'll choose a nice lead tone for the second track. So let's go ahead and press record. And here we go. Okay, let's listen back. All right, that sounds good. Let's go ahead and arm our second track here. And let's choose a lead sound. All right, very cool. And let's just uh, hear what this sounds like. I actually messed up there at the end. So let me punch in and let me show you how to do that. So I really like doing the two measures of pre-roll, which is just hitting shift and the greater than symbol on your keyboard. So just set your cursor to where you want to punch in and hit the button. Okay, that works for me. And you can see because we did the pre-roll, that it actually didn't cut off anything before that. Now let's call up a bass sound and let's finish off this little song. All right, so now I'm playing my bass through a SVT Pro head. And let's just go ahead and lay down a sick groove here. Let's go ahead and listen back to the whole thing. Okay. 
Okay, great. So just to reiterate a few points here, we wanna make sure that our buffer size is set to as low as we can according to our computer and our interface. We also wanna make sure we go into preferences and set our monitoring to Mixbus 32C and not the audio hardware. So if you like videos like this, be sure to subscribe down below and click the bell. And until next time, I'm Nathan from Harrison Consoles. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.